let me cast your minds back in time to a few days ago. Um, this was a time when technically none of you people were around. I was basically by myself. So I'm sitting on the couch at home at about 4.30am, laying there really. Uh, and I'm watching the end of Adaptation, which just happens to be on TV. Which is kind of a coincidence, because I packed up all my DVDs earlier that evening and distinctly remember thinking, Man, Adaptation's awesome. When I took the DVD out to put it in my case so I wouldn't have to take the box with me. But anyway, I'm just waiting for Boy Meets Wild to come on because I'm crazy and I can't sleep at 4am. And then I realised that to any other person, I probably look insane. I'm a very fidgety person, and as such, um, I'm always sort of playing with little things. So at some point in the past hour or so, I removed the back of the battery pack on the remote control and clipped it to the inside of my mouth. That's just weird, right? But it got me thinking, and I have a confession to make. It's not really a confession, seeing as everyone who knows me or spends a good amount of time with me probably has picked up on it. Um, but I think it, I think it's a problem. I have a problem, and I believe the technical term for it is oral fixation. According to Freud, fixation refers to a persistent focus of the id's pleasure-seeking energies on an earlier stage of psychosexual development. A fixation occurs with an issue or conflict and a psychosexual stage remains unresolved. The individual is left focusing on this stage and unable to move on to the next. Individuals with an oral fixation may have problems with drinking, smoking, eating, or nail biting. This kind of sounds like me because I bite my nails a lot. In fact, one of my best friends in Ottawa or is constantly having to stop me when I'm like saying like this and I'm like biting my nails and stuff. She's always she like jerks my hand out of my mouth and I'm like, oh sorry, thank you. I tend to drink and nibble things when I'm not thirsty or hungry. Just to have something to do. Uh, but I don't smoke, which is probably good because I have a feeling I would be a really bad addict. It's probably the same thing that happened if I started playing World of Warcraft. So apparently people with oral fixation fit into like two different kind of personalities. The oral receptive personality is preoccupied with eating and drinking. They relieve tension through oral activities such as eating, drinking, smoking and biting their fingernails. They are generally passive, needy and sensitive to rejection and they will easily swallow other people's ideas. The oral aggressive personality is hostile and verbally abusive to others using mouth-based aggression. I, uh, and <laughs> I think I'm probably a little bit of both because I have the whole, I have the whole like nervous biting and like, like I chew little bits of plastic. Like um, when you buy something from a store and it has those like tags with the, like the, like the tags like that, you know, that's all one bit by the way, it just has these on both ends. Um, when you buy the tags like that, I always bite off one end and then I end up playing with it for hours and hours and I like put it between my teeth and I just like chewing it and stuff and I remember in Toronto like Ryan would constantly be trying to pull it out my mouth and I'm like no, no. <laughs> and then when I was with Natalie she would like save her tags for me. <laughs> Just because she knew I like cheering them. Wow, that's really sad to admit. I, I do it too. I save my tags. I like keep a little pile of them in the bathroom and I like to chew them in the mornings and stuff. Yeah. It's incentive to buy new clothes. Something to chew on. Yay for psychoanalyzing. Yay for deep emotional problems. Yay.